lift up okay we are and we're live and i have lynn bernard with me and she owns hug patrol and it is not teddy bears it is actually weighted blankets and weighted wraps i actually have one here on the boat and so lynn tell us tell me why did you start this well, it all started with me learning to sew in home ec class when there no. used to be such thing as home ec yes. in second grade. <laughs> I still have the skirt, my first skirt. Um, I remember. It just, it just <laughs> there you go, age ourselves. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I just grew from there and just never stopped sewing. Oh, wow. I did. And I sold my sewing machine, by the way. <laughs> yeah, when my husband came home, with an overall that was extra, extra large and asked me to make it into a medium. I said, mm, no, I sold my sewing machine. He went to his sister and his sister said, I've sold my sewing machine as well. <laughs> Go to a professional. That was the last. Okay. So anyway, yes. So, so we either love it or no. Yeah. Well, if you, if you need any, I've got plenty. Oh, good. Oh, good. So, but you started, so, but you didn't start in this business straight away. So no, how no, did you no, get business. into business? Yeah, the business came years later, years later. But mm. when my girls were small, I was given a rack that was rectangular, and I put it on my shoulder, and it felt so lovely, but I couldn't move. And out of the corner of my eye, I had a lace antique collar that I saw. I said, hmm. So I made a wrap that was like a collar. Yes. And made them for my kids, and they would go to sleep with them at night. I'd heat them up, and they'd go to sleep with them at night. Then that led, and that was 35-ish yes. years ago, yes. mm -hmm. before there was such thing. Um, then I was all a, online, all online, right? Right, right. Mm -hmm. uh, then I was a paraprofessional <laughs> for a couple of years, and they were encouraging me to make blankets and vests also. Then I met the gentleman that owned Therapro Catalog, and they brought me in. I was on their front cover. Woohoo! <laughs> the best back in the day. Um, and it just kept growing from there. Wow. Just, just by growing. accident. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and most businesses that, I mean, that's how it starts, right? My business yeah. started the same way, you know? So, um, so what, 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 what are you carrying right now? Just weighted blankets and, uh, the wraps, right? The wraps in different yeah. sizes. So what yeah. makes your product different to everybody else's? Oh, geez. Um, well, I've had a time to do a lot of research. Mm -hmm. um, I have found fabric that's made in the USA. That oh, yes, is, we're made in the USA. Woohoo! Yeah, yes. I, oh, made in America. Um, <laughs> very, very proud of that. Mm -hmm. It's seven ounce cotton duck. So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a heavier fabric, but it's still drapeable. Yes. And it being 100% cotton, it's very important because you can then put it in the microwave. That, you see, that I didn't know, right? That I didn't know. And, right. it's, and what the insides, well, I do know since I've been working with you, but the insides are different as well so that you can put them in the microwave, right? Right. Yeah, I use food grade flaxseed. Yes. And then my scent that I use, if chosen, is lavender buds. Oh, nice. And so, then it's unscented and scented, right? Yes. Yes. And when I used to do expos, people were thrilled to, to have the option of unscented. Yes. So you, that's another point. You did a lot of expos, right? Oh, yes. Before COVID. Yes. A lot. And so that your main business was expos. Yes. 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 So you met a lot of people. And so did you sell into, into other stores or just in the catalog? Um, the catalog, and then it grew into um, Whole Foods. Yes. I'm in five Whole Foods. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the paperwork is ginormous. Yes, but yes. It can be done. Yes. It can be done. So, so uh, because you were at Expos, you moved into that sphere, right? But you're also a woman-owned business. Does 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 that matter? I, I'm gonna say it does. Yes. Because. You know, they always ask for that information. Yes. yes. So I put it down that I am. Yes. And yes. That I am. Yeah. So. So because I know that having having been a, a woman in business, and in my past life's business, there was a huge deal because 
that's how I got into large companies because I was a woman in business and they had to check that box if they were yeah. working with government, right? So, um, so the, the difference to just working with a catalog and working with Whole Foods, what is that? The difference? Yes. It's pretty much the same. Don't you have to be more careful? Oh, as far as, oh, yes, that's true. Mm. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm not able to use um, diagnosis in any of my verbiage. Yes. I can't say that it will help anything yes. except make you feel comfortable. Yes. Um, but the testimonials speak volumes. Yes, exactly. Like they, they, whatever, exactly. Yeah, the, the testimonials <laughs> just melt my heart. Yes, exactly. So, and so. Um, and it also keeps me going. That's what keeps me going. The testimonials. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. So you yeah. sew every single thing yourself, right? Mm-hmm. So what and happens if you are going to expand? Have you thought about that? I did, and I was all set up, and then COVID hit. I know, COVID. Yeah. Let's ignore yeah. COVID. It's not that I can't re reinvent that yes. wheel. Yes, yes. At, at this facility or another one or yes whatever the opportunities are there probably yes correct. yes correct. yes and we've I mean, we've spoken about that how to use and how to probably a good idea is to use moms that can sew that mm -hmm. are well you know the kids are out of the house what do i do now I mean, my, I know, I remember my friend, she was a nutty sewer as well. You know, I just didn't sew. She sewed. And she, you know, we always had these big flowers and stuff that we were doing for the school. So it's like, yeah. if you're happy doing it, baby, you can do it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and now I'm on a boat and I'm back to sewing. But, um, Yay. yes, I'm, yeah, right. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not making sales, only little baby things and things my husband says oh we have to do a cover you know so it's like yeah. uh I'm, oh, yeah. and i'm not doing cushions i'm not doing cushions but so so whole foods when you sew something so you get an order in and then you have you actually delivering physically to whole foods do you actually hang it up no no they no. do everything right now i'm still local my, yes. my five store soon to be six fingers oh, crossed okay. Um, a new one's being built right now. Um, they're all within an hour yes. away, an yes. hour and 15 minutes, so I don't have a problem. And it's nice to meet yes. the people in the store that yes. um, put my product out on the floor. And yes. I have suggestions sometimes, and yes. I bring, <clears throat> I offer um, ideas yes. gently. Yes. I offer racks, yes. displays. Yes. Whatever, whatever they Dave, need. Yeah, yes, yeah. We work well together. So, I mean, it sounds so wonderful. You know, I've, I've worked with a lot of companies and it sounds so wonderful. I'm in Walmart and I'm doing this and the millions are not rolling in. So, I mean, somebody actually has to buy your products for you to actually get money, right? They don't buy a whole consignment. They do. They, they do? do <gasps> no, yeah. Oh wow! So yeah. they buy the whole consignment, and you just supply as per consignment. They, uh, they just they just buy they make, they place an order. Oh, I fill that it, is... I deliver it, yes. and then I get checking <laughs> checking my bank. <laughs> We Tell like that. Up. We like that, right? So now we are, and you and I are working on your on your online to get your online going more active. And I mean that's a challenge in itself because we had a little bit of a problem with with Facebook, but that's resolved right now. Well, not with actual Facebook, but with the account. But um, that's resolved, and we're going to start advertising and everything. And so um, I'm very excited about that as well because you Me know. Too. The, <laughs> I know, right? I know. So, it, you know, and I think your your suggestions like really is is the progression of, is a normal progression of business before the internet, right? You would be meeting and then you would be doing the, the shows and everything and then you were into the stores. So really the, the online thing was not much of a concern for you because you were moving and shaking on with the other stuff and kept Correct. pretty busy, right? And then Correct. COVID happened, you go, oh, maybe I should do something, yeah. right? Right. Yes, right. yes, exactly. Right. 
and and uh, I mean and, and I've got to admit you know you were one of the people that I went on your website and your images are brilliant right so oh. that is not always the case in fact we were talking to to Meg and she said one thing she would have told did, did do differently is have better images of her products online right so that's hugely important to have those really beautiful f pictures of your products online so people can actually see and want to buy them because I mean they can't touch or feel them or do anything and, and my product is that touch yes. and feel yes so exactly to portray that is very difficult with my product yeah yeah very difficult yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. It's not like, you know, you're looking at chocolates and you go, oh, I need that. I need to oh, buy that. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, right? I know. So, um, so I have one big, one big question is what would you do differently if you started again? And I mean, you have really started all sorts of things for over a long period of time. So what would you do differently? I would probably, first of all, take it more seriously. Second, um, I'm working now with an SBDC counselor. It's a small, small business. business development center here mm -hmm. in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. She is fabulous. Mm -hmm. And others I've worked with are also fabulous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Um, which brought me to you. Yes. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so we're moving on, we're moving forward with business. And that's the whole thing is you, know, you have to move forward with your business. When you started, I know we talked about it a minute ago, when you started, you started out with university students were helping you, right? Yes. You, I mean, SBDC you did bootstrapping. Council. Yeah, she, she got me connected with local university in New Hampshire here, UNH. And mm -hmm. working with some of their senior students in wow. marketing class, it was amazing. Wow! And then COVID hit. Oh we wow! We got two meetings in, and then it was off. It but was they awful. still continued like yes. troopers. Yes. They were the ones that took a lot of the pictures that are yes, I know they're brilliant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and just continued on. It was they were fabulous. Mm. So and I'm and I'm still reconnected mm. reconnecting with them as we speak yeah oh that's yeah. wonderful yes i think yeah. they did a good, fabulous job on those pictures because getting getting professional photos done is a very expensive outlay yeah. and i've worked with fashion designers um yeah fashion designer she was a fashion designer and so she, she did hers professionally i did a couple of shoots with her in fact i was one one of the photographers yes i know oh, right wow. that was wow. so awesome i was having so much fun but um but it it was a case of you know you have to a you have to pay models to come and model your stuff and then it's a whole it's a whole day of clothes on and off and positions and lighting and um you know we had we had we, we actually did it in a mansion that she managed yes i know right i know that was empty that she managed to take photos and it was absolutely amazing and um but it does take money to actually do photos that you have that the students did for you so bootstrap that was a great idea yeah. and then looking into the community as well of okay so who can i utilize that actually needs money and that will be faithful and stay with me without going off having babies and nobody's got anything about babies but still or has a children problem you know they can only work till three o'clock they can't work till then um is a lot of a lot of moms uh, that have college age kids that suddenly say you know what now you know i've been busy in the school and i've been vip mom i only learned about vip mom when i came to this country i was vip mom and i did all the volunteering and i you know these women mm -hmm. are crazy right but it's an it's an amazing it's amazing phenomena in America how much parents actually give to the schools, but these ladies then end up on okay so what now right, and they are proficient I mean they just want to do something right and if they can mm -hmm. earn money I mean that's an, a great mm -hmm. idea, so I always say you know look around you I I in my um, past uh, recruiting company. Uh, I used to suggest that to small companies, 
look around and ask the moms in your children's schools if they would like to come and supplement you know because they all mm -hmm. have they all have skills but they're not as expensive as a right. professional right um and i did utilize i did do yes. exactly that yes there, there was a friend that offered to take pictures for me so yes. you know i i made sure to barter <laughs> Um, and then another photo shoot. Yes. And you know a barter thing. Yes. And it worked out well. Yes. It worked out well. Yeah. You just yeah. have to. You got to think outside. I mean, there's yeah. always a, a future. Exactly. Think, think outside the box, right? You got to think outside the box. So yeah, yeah, we are going nationwide, right? In Whole Foods. So we are very excited about that. <laughs> no, no laughing. This is serious matter, because yeah. I mean we are you in. So all you have to do yeah. is now expand it and then um, we are definitely getting busier online and getting more more traction online but it does take time and so we're also practicing how to blog, right? Yes. <laughs> and it's so important, so important to actually do those blogs and do those information but anyway we do them in my workshop so it's very it's a lot of fun and it's a lot of okay so what do I do now right. so okay so um, I think that's it I think this has been brilliant thank you so much for popping in and Lynn actually managed to get her Skype going this morning uh, this afternoon I am so proud of her thank <laughs> you <laughs> to thank get you onto this challenge. I know right I know yes. but thank you you yes. are probably the most patient person I've ever met oh really and even even with the bleep with the original Facebook page and everything <laughs> you never ever ever said anything negative it was always well, let's go this direction let's try this direction and let's try this direction you you've been amazing yeah amazing. always thinking thank always you. thinking outside the box that's what you, you have are to do amazing <laughs> thank, thank you very much. much you are amazing <laughs> thank you very much thank you very much okay yeah. so we are we've got to we've got the next speak popping up in about i think about 15 minutes or so so thank you, Lynn, for being with me. And you will be also be going to pop this in on your websites. And then we're going to pop your contact information into this, into the group, onto the Facebook group, so people can connect with you and see what you're selling as well. And if they have any questions, they're very welcome to ask. Um, you know, I bet there's some people going, how can I get into Whole Foods? Make something mm -hmm. made in America handmade yeah and yeah. has to be special that they not selling i know how hard it is to get into these places so yeah. and okay so there's one more thing you actually work for the veteran well if i'm not here You're or with capable. my family i've been volunteering yes. at new england healing sports association yes which is a non-profit for established by a veteran yes and and the the motto now is no one left indoors it's open wow. to anybody wow. so we ski in the winter or snowboard and yes. we kayak in the summer wow. so i've gotten a lot of experience and i've made a lot of adaptive things mm -hmm. for them as well mm -hmm. it's opened my eyes to a lot of that mm. um so i am a i am a va vendor yes yes so exactly yeah, I'm a VA vendor because I just, uh, there's something very near and dear to my heart. Um, all of us. Yeah, yes. I think yes. so too, yes. For, for all people in yes. general. Yes, but, I know. But to help the a veteran makes, mm. makes me feel good. Um, I'm also a New Hampshire veteran. Uh, excuse me. Vendor. New Hampshire vendor. Yes. So if somebody in need in New Hampshire needs a weighted blanket, yes. a washable weight, adjustable weighted blanket, by the way, <laughs> yes. um, they can get it through their doctor. It can be scripted through. Oh, wow. So, I forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. That's yeah. very good to know. Okay. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much for popping on and we are going to say bye until next time. Bye. And stay healthy, everyone. Okay, Thank yes. you, Veronica. <laughs>